All right, I'm going to show you from scripture that prostitution, the sin of prostitution, is in fact a form of witchcraft. So let's go to the scriptures, which are always should always be the final authority of every Bible-believing Christian out there, professing a Bible-believing Christian, is God's word. So here are some, some proof that prostitution is a form of witchcraft. So a first example is you have Jezebel was a fornicating harlot, and she was steeped in witchcraft and involved in witchcraft. Turn to... Uh, 2 Kings chapter 9 and verse number 22. 2 Kings chapter 9 and verse number 22. And it came to pass when Jerome saw Jehu that he said, Is it peace, Jehu? And he answered, What peace, so long as the whoredoms of thy mother Jezebel and her witchcrafts are so many? C.C. So Jezebel was a fornicating harlot. We're going to read about that in, in uh, later in this video. Uh, she was involved in whoredoms and Guess what? She was involved in witchcraft. Whoredoms and witchcraft goes hand in hand. Because prostitution is, is whoredom. It's fornication. And then we're going to get to Revelation. Turn to Revelation chapter 2, verses 20 and 21. Proof that Jezebel was a harlot. And she was a witch. Because again, prostitution and witchcraft go hand in hand. Revelation chapter 2, verses 20 and 21. Notwithstanding... I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave space her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. And uh, there's that there. So, because that's what, that's what prostitution is. Prostitution is fornication. That's all it is. It's, 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 uh, it's adultery in some cases, too. And Jezebel was a fornicating adulterous harlot, and she was in witchcraft, which is not surprising, considering these next two scriptures I'm going to cover. Next point, in Nahum chapter 3 and verse 4, the well-favored harlot was a mistress of witchcraft. Turn to Nahum chapter 3 and verse number 4. Actually, I'll start at verse number 3. Uh, Nahum chapter 3, verse uh, verses 3 to 4. The horseman lifteth, lifteth up both uh, both the bright sword and the glittering spear, and there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses, uh, and there is none end of their corpses. They they stumble upon their corpses because the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft, that, that selleth the nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. So you see again the well-favored harlot. She's playing the harlot. She's uh, a multitude of whoredoms. We read in this verse, and she's the mistress of witchcrafts. So you have another example of someone who is a harlot who is involved in witchcraft. Witchcraft is tied in with prostitution. It's sex perversion. And next, final, final point. The sorceress in Isaiah chapter 57 and verse 3 uh, are associated with adultery and whores. So, Isaiah chapter 57, uh, beginning at verse 1 down to verse 3. The righteous, per the righteous, righteous perish, perisheth, and no man layeth it to heart, and the merciful men are taken away, uh, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. He shall enter into peace, they shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprighteousness. But draw near hither, ye sons of the sorceress, sorceress, the seed of the adulterer and the whore. So you have the sorceress, and then her children are referred to as the seed of the adulterer and the whore. So the sorcerer, sorceress was the whore. She, they were the seed of a whore. So we have another example of a sorceress, a witch, basically, being a whore, playing the harlot, playing the whore, which is what prostitution is. Oftentimes in scripture, when you hear about playing the harlot or playing the whore, it's referring to prostitution. So there you go, examples of practicing witches who were involved in prostitution, which does show a connection between prostitution and witchcraft. So prostitution, most sex perversion, is all kinds of is demonic essentially most kinds of sex perversion whether it be homosex homosexuality whether it be uh, fornication pornography whatever adultery it's always tied into demonic demonic activity demonic entities and witchcraft sorcery so don't be deceived may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren goodbye.